everybody. This is Pat in the paper closet. Today we're going to be working on, this is the blue journal we started. We did the cover and we inserted the signatures. And I've started working on some of the pages. I'm not going to embellish all the pages with anything. Some I'm just going to ink the edges and I may find a few stamps that I can stamp in the corners. But I like to have more pages for writing than anything else. So we're, first we're going to work on, this is my little corner. I'm going to glue this up here. And that's all I'm going to put on that page. Unless I find something special. So I'm just going to glue the edges of this. I folded them over, mitered the corner. Now I just have to glue it on. <clears throat> Don't need too much glue. I want to get it not all the way in the corner, just leave a little edge. Okay. Let the glue dry a little. And I want to make sure that it's not glued down to the side of the see it's all clear <laughs> sometimes when you glue on a pocket you, you glue it right exactly to like to this area and that would be closed off you don't want that glued down just the outer part all right so that's all i'm going to put on that page i am going to make a pocket for this for the front and then I have this page I did. I inked up the edges. I made a pocket out of this graph paper. I made a little tag. This little tag has a little stopper on it. So it can't go all the way in. And then these are little charms that I had made. I have a video showing how to make these. And I'll put the link below. I made out of cardstock, five layers of cardstock. This one is double sided. And I just tied a little bit of a crochet thread on there. And I glued the, the thread down to the pocket so that it's not glued to the pocket itself. This I just took a little book paper, book page, ripped it up, made a circle. I took the little bits that I tore off the edges of the book page, and that's that. I'm going to put a more crochet thread on this, tie a ribbon on there. This one I just put a little sticker in the corner. And this one, I also made a pocket, a bottom pocket, a little tag, and right on the back, Put a photo, whatever. This one, I had these little doilies I had cut out using my silhouette. I just glued down part of it and left the end open. And then I cut this graph paper to use as a little writing spot. And this flower I had made long ago. <coughs> made out of cardstock. Now I put glossy accents over it. Now on this page, I did do an edge, this little crocheted edge, this lace, which I like, not too frilly. Here I made a side pocket, and I'm gonna ink that up. That one's not finished. I wanna put something else on here. I'm gonna try to find some stamps and do some stamping. Now the next page I wanna do this one, I did the corner pocket, but I didn't finish the tag yet. This page, I want to glue some lace on this edge. <clears throat> I didn't do too many. I did one, two, three, and this one will be four. I don't want all the pages to have lace. So I'm going to take a piece of this lace. Let me turn the book a little. Up on the edge. I'm going to 
put something under here so I don't glue all my pages together. I'll put this piece. I'm just going to take my glue. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Run it along the edge. Not too much, but enough to hold the lace. Up to the top. Just along the very edge of the page. And then I'll take the ribbon. Lay it over the glue. Right along the edge. And if you're into sewing, you could stitch this on before you put your signatures in. But I do have a sewing machine, but it's not set up. Maybe in my next journal. Okay, you want to make sure that glues down. I'm just going to trim off the end. Easier to see where to cut on the back. Now I'm just going to round that off a little bit, as much as possible. It's lace, not paper. Same with this one. Let's see what I can do with it. Okay. Okay, that one has its lace. Um, what else did I have started? I may fill in a little bit more on these pages, but not right now. I'm just going to do a few. Let's take this out. Um, this one I was setting up. This is a piece of burlap paper. Well, it's burlap on one side, paper on the other. So it's very stiff. Maybe soften it up a little. I did ink around the edges, and I'm just going to make a pocket out of this on the bottom of this page. I'm going to put some glue around three sides. This one. This one. And this one. We want to leave the top open, so it's a pocket. down almost to the exact edge not quite I'm just going to get the dimensions on this pocket the size I just measure being that I don't want it totally edge to edge this one is four inches the pages are four and a quarter so it's four inches by three. Four by three. That's a good size. <coughs> Make sure this glues down. I've never used this before, so I don't know how well it glues down. But it seems to be holding. Let's see if the bottom is holding. Yes. All right, so the glue holds it. Very good. All right, now, I'm gonna decorate this tag eventually. Not right now. And I am gonna put, I was thinking of putting this flower on here. And then I have some Nouveau drops, glitter drops. They're white, so I might put that on the inside. Do I have anything else started here that I can show you right now? I don't think so. Like I said, I'm not going to do something on every page. Most of them are going to be left blank, like this one. Actually, most of them. I'm just going to go find. I'm going to find a few stamps that I can stamp, like in the corners. I'd rather have more journaling area. 
thin pockets. I'll put a few more of these in here. And I may do another one of these doilies in the second signature. Uh, bottom pocket. What else did I do? I could always make a pocket out of any piece of paper I have. <coughs> my side pocket. I mean, somewhere. Side corner pocket. What I'm looking for. Yeah. Here it is. This, we can make more of these. They're out of the way. You can always write on the page. So I'm going to put the nouveau drops on this flower. I'm going to glue it down first. And then it has to dry. I've been using my butterfly rock as a paperweight to hold my book open while I work on the pages. That was a gift on my birthday. Alright, I'll glue this down. And then I'll put the new row drops in the center, and I'm just going to let that dry for a while. I had to wait for the new row glitter drops to dry, which took about three hours, so don't do as I do. If you're going to use something like new row drops or stickles, put them on your flower before you glue it in your book. Okay, well, where was I? I think I had this page finished. I glued on this little sticker, the flower, a lily. This little, little word bit here. Here's my tag. I think I made this tag afterwards, I'm not sure. I just, I used the paper that I covered the tag with was the scrap I used when I painted another page. I had put acrylic paint on one of the pages and I used this so I wouldn't get it all on my table. So I used that paper and it looks pretty good. I also made a few others while I was waiting. Made this one, a few flowers, a little bit of book page. And this one I'm about to put together. Another small one made with the same, covered the tag with the same paper. I'll show you that page in a minute that I painted. Okay, so this is done. Um, I do want to put a pocket here, a side pocket, a tuck. So I'm just going to glue that down. And um, this page, I may not do too much others to it. If I can find some stamps, like I said, I'm going to stamp on some of the pages. <coughs> See if I can cut the straighter. I'm noticing it's pretty crooked. Alright, that's better. I ink this up. Oh, it's getting pretty late. I didn't expect to have to wait that long. I totally forgot when I put that nouveau drops on that flower that I couldn't do anything further until it dried because I couldn't turn the page. So now I know. Alright. That's good. Let me get my glue. I'm just going to put it around three sides so it'll be a pocket. to the middle of my kit. Okay, that's a little 
should work. Big enough for a small journal card. Have to be the card that's upside down again. Yeah, oh yeah, I can fit a four inch card in here easily. Okay. Very good. I just check that I didn't over glue it. Alright, I'm going to think about this page. I'm going to put something else on it. Some, maybe something on this pocket itself. And then I have another pocket I cut in here somewhere. I was going to do another one of these. Now, here's the page I was going to show you. This is the page I painted with the acrylic paint. Of course, because it was inkjet printed, and you put the, I thinned out the acrylic paint with water, so it, it was a white acrylic paint, but the blue ink blended in with the paint, and that's what I got. But I also like the other side. That's pretty good. <clears throat> this one you saw already. Here's the other pocket I cut. No. Go back. I'm going to put this on in the meantime. I'm going to ink it up a little bit. It's a little difficult to ink. I barely get anything on the tips. But it looks good. I think I'm all the way almost all the way around. I'm getting more ink on my finger than on the doily. Okay, I'm all the way around. open as a tuck spot. Tuck something in there. And I start. Is not cooperating. Of course. Try again. Here we go. A little bit came out, and that was it. I'll take this cap off. Does do me any good. Okay. I'm just dotting some glue around some of the spots. You can't really rub the glue on the back. That'll do it. Now make sure you put this down the correct way. This is a side that's glued. And this will be the side that we lift up to tuck something under it. Now what do I want to put on there? I might make it the same as the other one. I punched a small circle out of this paper. And I inked it up.
getting some ink. Okay. And that's that. We can tuck something under there. I have to make something. The glue is a little too far. I'm going to pick it up a little. And then make another piece of paper like I did with the other one. That folded piece. This tag is a little too wide for here. So I'll just make another page for that little piece of paper. Alright, what else have I got? That's the corner tuck. I think I have another pocket in here I stuck somewhere. There it is. Oh, that one's glued. Can't be in between that. That's just pink. Sorry. Here it is. This is the page I wanted to Let's see. I made a few pockets here while I was waiting. I made one of these, so I'm going to put this on this side. Glue that down. Did ink it. <clears throat> Make sure the ends good corners. Okay. We'll put this right here. Center it here on this page. Okay, make sure it's glued down well. I'm really going to have to find some stamps for these pages. These blank white ones. That one, I'm not going to put anything on. This one, I'm going to put another pocket on this page. I really don't want to put too many pockets and tucks because I'd rather have room for journaling. Okay, two sides are glued. Center it on here. Get it heavy on the glue. Okay, it wets right up. Alright, there's another pocket. One of the tag. Let's see what else I put in here. I don't know if I made Okay, I have this piece. I'm going to do another one of those. This is that burlap paper. Like the other green one. 
Now, where do I want to put it? How about on this page? That'll work. I need to trim the top of this. This one's going to go right down here. This paper got all speckled from my, my ink pad that I had for my first one. It was old. And as I was inking, little bits were falling on the paper. But it looks pretty good. And now I have a new pad on here. I'm going to ink this a little bit. a few journaling cards to put in here also. So that'll go in some of the pockets. I'm just putting glue on three edges. this down a little bit, this burlap, may take a little longer to dry. I'm going to put this tag in here. And it's a short pocket. So we can add. Now I'm going to put this tape together. Put some ink. Paper. And this I'm just going to lay this down along the side here. Okay. I have this strip of painted book page. And I'll put it down like that. some room on the front of this tag. I'm going to do some journaling on here. I don't want to put it over too far. And then I have this little word bit. It says special times. I must put glue instead of ink. Getting too late. these tags I'm going to put the crochet thread ribbon through the top. Glue stuck to me everywhere. Alright, that's another tag. And there's an empty pocket. Here we go. Put it in this one. 
There we go. And I think that's all I've cut out for now. So I'm going to work on a few more things. I'll cut out a few more pockets. And I'll see what else. I may have some other paper I can use in here also to use on some of these white pages. I'm going to make some more of these little corner tucks. Now I need the paper for this page. And that'll be it. So I'll be back to we'll finish up decorating the pages in the next video. Shouldn't take too long. We have quite a bit done. Here's our little charm. This is a charm made out of five layers of cardstock. The same as this one that they tied onto the front. They're made out of five layers of cardstock. I'll put the link to the video to make those below in the description box. So you can check that out if you want. Please, if you like this video, please hit the like button. That helps me get more views. It's in the algorithm will send it out to more people. Please subscribe and then you'll be notified when the next video is up to finish it up. We have our trims in there, quite a bit of pockets, it's getting a little thicker, so oh, there we have it. Okay, till next time, thank you for coming by, I'll see you soon, bye.